A rare tornado left a long trail of damage in southeast New Mexico. It injured one man and destroyed his home. Here's News 13's Elena Mendoza. The National Weather Service says this tornado was only on the ground for about a few minutes, but it caused huge devastation with winds topping 100 miles an hour. There was a storm I've never heard before. I've lived here all my life. People here on Ruby Lane are still in disbelief a tornado could even hit here in Alamogordo between the mountains. You can't comprehend that with your mind until you're seeing it, you know. Just grabbed our animals, threw them in the house, and went to the area where there's no windows and waited it out. We're told an elderly man was trapped inside his destroyed mobile home. He suffered minor injuries. Wind speeds up to 105 miles an hour damaged other houses and flattened fences and sheds, sending sheet metal and wood flying. Because of the rotation of the funnel, it came and literally impaled our camper. This silo also went flying, taking out a power line and a shed in its path. It was airborne a couple of times. The National Weather Service says this wasn't your typical tornado. I didn't see a twister from where I was, but it was just a cloud of dirt. They believe it started as a dust devil that got sucked into a thunderstorm and intensified. The damage zone is about 300 yards wide and about 500 yards long. So it was very short lived. We estimate that the damage all took place in a matter of five minutes or less. Closer into the city, places like the Alameda Park Zoo saw forceful straight line winds knocking out many of their trees. And you could just see the trees just coming down and then it stopped right here with some trees over by our alligators. Branches fell on top of enclosures, though no building damage was reported and no animals injured. For the tornado victims, a relief that no one was seriously hurt. I'm grateful. I mean, this is just stuff we can replace. The, all the neighbors are talking about helping each other. The National Weather Service was out here all morning and into the afternoon surveying that damage. They say based on that, they're classifying it as an EF1 tornado. In Alamogordo, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. The National Weather Service says Otero County has only confirmed 17 tornadoes since the 1950s.